couple of breaking royal stories for you today, as ever, from the very heart of London. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you keep it well. Look at those clouds behind me. I decided to come out and film something exclusive for you, and this is what happens. Dark clouds gather. Is that an omen? As ever though, back to your royal stories of the day. As I say, two quick stories here. The first one is, of course, is this brand new sort of, well, breaking news, and I have to say this loosely over here. It all is uh, in regard to Our Gracious Majesty the Queen. Now, I don't know if you've seen these pictures, but Her Majesty attended at Westminster Abbey yesterday afternoon. Very thrilled to be invited. Wonderful service for the centenary of the Royal British Legion. Now, of course, this is something very close to Our Majesty's heart. She always likes to get involved with all the services and forces because, of course, she remembers exactly what they did for us so, so many years ago, 70 plus years ago now. And uh, she always likes to pay her respects. She looked absolutely marvellous alongside her daughter, the Princess Royal, otherwise known worldwide as Princess Anne. But the real focus really was on this particular, well, shall we say, uh, attachment. I know a lot of ladies who use these don't like to be referred to as sticks, walking sticks, walkers, whatever. But a lot was made of Her Majesty the Queen well, coming out with a stick for the very first time. Now let's just recap. This wonderful lady is 95 years old. She normally goes unaccompanied everywhere. And I don't know about you, but I'm always very nervous when she's walking on uneven surfaces because there's nobody there to catch her should she trip up or fall. Now when you're going to Westminster Abbey, it's very cobbled. It is really precarious. Now I was told by a very close source to Her Majesty the Queen that this stick was used basically for comfort. It's nothing to be alarmed about. It's not the first time that Our Gracious Majesty has used a walking stick. In fact, when she's had a few minor operations, she's used them. And of course, when she sprained her ankle during some horse riding accident many years ago now. But a lot of people are trying to play onto that story, basically saying, oh dear, you know, look, she's using a stick. Let's get it great, folks. She's 95, a wonderful lady. Cut her some slack, shall we? And in other basic royal news, um, I'm thrilled to be able to tell you, as we've often told you here on this show, that His Royal Highness the Duke of York, otherwise known as Prince Andrew, the Metropolitan Police are not proceeding with an investigation on charges or anything. Now, this could be seen as good news for lots of people, including, of course, the Duke of York. But here's the reason why. So lots of people want to know why are the Metropolitan Police now not investigating Prince Andrew, otherwise known as the Duke of York? Well, it's quite simple, really. It's not their case. And if they felt there was something worth investigating, then they would have proceeded with that. Now, the Met Police Chief, Cressida Dick, has come out with a statement basically telling the world that. Now, people may say, oh, this is good news. Remember, it is good news because, as I say, we've told you this on the show many times, Prince Andrew has not been charged with anything. And what I always like to go by is, of course, innocent until proven guilty. Lots of big PR headlines, as we told you last week, particularly about this bombshell case of a woman coming forward and then all that crumbled away, but not without doing lots of damage. Where are we at now? Well, of course, the case rumbles on. We won't know too much really until the beginning of next month, possibly the end of November, as to the next stages regarding this case, which is solely now based in the United States. Where does it go from here? Well, as we told you earlier in the week, what it does mean is that Prince Andrew has not been ostracized by his family, that was claimed by the Sunday Times and other periodicals, nor does it mean that all of his family have ruled him out making a return to public life at some stage. For now as ever, we'll keep you updated with all the latest breaking Royal News Flash. Neil Sean, Heart of London.